Welcome back to Dr. Sock Shop and Forge. So today I'm going to be working on the hacksaw blade blank. So today I'll be grinding the edges parallel and then I'll be taking the scale off on the grinder and then I'll be adhering it to this with hot wax. Now this is actually a file maker's strip and it allows you, no matter how much you work, it generally it'll keep the file in the same plane as what you're working so you can go backwards and forwards and keep that edge or well, that surface as flat as possible. Will it be perfectly flat? No. But it'll be close enough and once we've got those done and got it down towards thickness, we're just about half a millimetre or so over thickness at the moment, then we can pack it in some clay with the case hardening uh, media that I've made. Um, more on that later, quite possibly in the next episode. Um, which, after about 20 minutes in the forge at about 800 to 900 degrees, should give us a through, heart, through carburized edge, because I'm going to pack the back of it in the clay so it absorbs minimal amount of carbon. Um, in an attempt to give it a soft back um, so that it's as tough as possible. Um, along the way, before we do the carburizing, we're going to do the set so that we end up with a kerf that's slightly wider than the blade. So for that, we'll have to make a hacksaw tooth set. It's basically a flat piece of metal with a slot so you can bend, 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 bend to set up. I don't know if you can see this, but the blade has an ever so slight waveform to it. So we'll try and achieve the same with this. So let's get to the grinder and get started. It's called diamond setters wax. It's pretty tenacious stuff if you can get it hot enough. Alright, so this is going to be our flat side, so we're going to do that one first and then we'll flip it over. Give this a moment to cool off.
this is how you strip preparatory to making a file. In this case, though, we're making a hacksaw blade. Okay, so that's side one stripped. So now we just got to heat it up a little bit. Take it off the wax. Maybe refresh the wax a little bit and then flip her over and start on the other side. So that took an hour to bring down to a uniform surface. It's not perfect, but it's very close. So let's get it off the other side. We're at about 1.8 millimeters in thickness at this point. So we've got a little ways to go. Oh. So we're going to continue with um, stripping the blade down. So we've got to get this side down flat. So let's continue with this. is done. So now we need to do, decide which is the cutting edge, strip that to flat, cut the ends to some nice round shapes, punch the hole, and then we can pack it in the case hardening medium and clay ready to start drying out for case hardening in about a week's time once it's well and truly dry. Oh, along the way we've actually got a cup of tea. There we go, just to clean up that side. It's nice and straight. Alright, let's have a look. Seven. I said one point five there. One point five five. Okay, so that's just on two there. So I think this is going to become our cutting edge because it's wider. So this is going to become the cutting edge because it's wider than the back. This is going to be the cutting edge because it's ever so slightly wider than the back. 
Um, we will be setting the teeth anyway to give a slightly wider kerf and to minimise cutting edge contact with the walls of the cut. So we've set it up for stripping the cutting edge and once we've got that done um, I'll modify one of my existing chisels and we'll very quickly run through and do the teeth. That might not work terribly well. To be fair, this edge doesn't have to be perfect. might do is clamp it in the vise so it's holding on to the whole lot and just very quickly do that. Okay so we're going to punch the end holes First hole done, it'll need a bit of tidying up. So I'll be working from this end this way, so each tooth, no, I should be working from this end, so the rise from the tooth behind governs the next tooth. So let me just... guide us. give us a little more clearance. And the saw is going to be a lot coarser than I thought it was going to be. So I've made an improvised tooth set and we're just going to, with the points, so we're just going to aim to bend the blade a little bit. So we end up <coughs> with a bit of a serpentine. that corner off. Need to modify it. Thank you. 
I don't know if you guys can see it, but the idea is to have a little bit of offset so that the teeth cut a slightly wider curve than the blade. So now we have to pack this in clay and the hardening compound along these teeth and then we leave it to dry for a while.